This is a plumbing tray calculation video and in this video we will learn how to find the fitting allowance for a cast iron MJ fitting, a butt welded seal fitting, or a groove joint fitting. In this uh, type of application, whether it be any of those three uh, welded Groove pipe, uh, Victolic MJ. Um, this application, the pipe does not go into the fitting; it just goes face to face with it. So the fitting and the and the pipe go face to face, and there'll be a small little bit of a space in between the pipe and the fitting, so they don't go inside at all. There's no insertion depth. There is no uh, thread engagement. It just simply buds up against each other. So once again, we have the FA, our fitting allowance, and our fitting allowance goes from the center of the fitting over to the face of the pipe. We now have a gap. Our gap is the space between the actual pipe and fitting. The little space between the gap and the is known as the space between the the fitting and the pipe is called the gap. And then we have our face to center measurement, which is our center of our fitting to the face of the fitting. And that is known as our face to center. So the first thing we need to discover is our face to center measurement. So we take a measurement of our fitting um, from the center line over to the face or vice versa. To get that measurement that's what we need to know first once we have that we can move on to our second step our second step is to get the gap measurement and the gap measurement will vary depending on the type of thing we're doing so if we're doing welding uh, we might want to double check with our welder what kind of gap they need to have um, whether it's an mj or groove we'll double check to see what the what the space is going to be in between once we have that measurement now we can move on So for our final calculation, in order to find our fitting allowance, it's our fitting allowance will equal our face to center measurement plus our gap in order to get our FA. Because remember our FA starts at the center line of the fitting and go, well, go all the way over to the face of where the pipe will meet up. So that includes the face to center measurement of the fitting as well as the gap in between the pipe and the fitting. And as that is how we find our fitting allowance using gap. And we use it for our welded butt welded pipe. We use it for our MJ cast iron pipe. And we also use it for our groove pipe with our clamps.